Married folk, what's the most underrated part of marriage? For me I suffer from anxiety and depression. I don't even need to say anything to my wife. She just knows if I'm not feeling good and will sit and cuddle with me which 99.9% of the time changes my mood. It's the little things, just knowing you have someone by your side to work with you through life's challenges. We make a huge deal out of unconditional love, but it's unconditional like that really tickles the soul. Having someone else investigate the stranger noise, I get very cold at night and my husband is a human furnace. So now I don't need two blankets, socks and long sleeves. Having someone else to push the stupid cart at the grocery store. When you both get sick at the same time and you get to watch several days worth of horrible movies together, while sharing one tub of vapo rub. When you both make the same stupid pun at the same time, and laugh like fools. Also playing video slash board games together. Having someone who you feel no shame with. I just washed my wife's whole body CNA style after a major surgery. We laughed the entire time, especially when I cleaned her crack. Good times. The team approach to every situation. You get the table I'll place the order or you get the seats I'll get the popcorn and sodas. Or you put kid 1 to bed and I'll take kid 2. Plus always getting to order the best two things on the menu and sharing. Not having to date around anymore. Most underrated. Being able to know someone so well and be known so well that when you suggest things to each other you're almost guaranteed to like them. My husband has introduced me to so many movies, TV shows, books, musicians, podcasts, etc that I never thought I'd enjoy but I love. And vice versa. It's a big part of our relationship and I don't hear others talk about it at all. When one of you doesn't have your s asterisk asterisk t together, sick, really stressed, lost a loved one. The other picks up the slack and keeps you sane. It's teamwork in general. It's basically doing life on easy mode, if you choose the right partner. Having a person you can sit with, and not have to talk. Comfortable silence, as Mrs. Meyer Wallace might say. Having someone that can check you on your s asterisk asterisk t, in a respectful and loving way. Do I smell weird? Is my hair f asterisk asterisk kd up? Did I say a too many times? When we role played for a job interview, my husband is always honest with me, and I need that grounding in my life. It's amazing. Having someone who believes in you, when you're not sure you believe in yourself. I can't even tell you how how much more confident and successful I'm simply because my wife says things like, you are amazing, you can do anything, even when I feel like I'm not particularly good at anything. The other person is there to pick up the slack when you can't do it anymore. Times I've been too sick to cook he will grab what is needed from the store and make soup. His dad has cancer and it's easy for him to visit his dad out of state because I can just stay here and handle things while he's gone. Rather than us having to worry about finding someone to watch the house and board the dogs, which if we had to do each time it would make the visits a lot more expensive and less frequent. It's just nice to have someone you can count on who has your best interest at heart. The inside jokes. Being forced to make good relationship decisions because you do really love that f asterisk c k e r even when they piss you off. Something about marriage made me take a breath when something annoys slash upsets me and I think, is this worth being upset? Is this where I'll damage my marriage? And the answer is always no. Then I slap the booty and continue along with my decent life. I lost my wife to cancer on November 10, 5 years ago. I miss the hugs and just the general closeness we had. She loved PDAs. I miss the whole holding hands, she leaning on me and traveling together. I have someone who has observed 30 years of my life and still loves me. There's a gravity to her presence that would be near impossible to match. A very underrated part of marriage is having someone who will call you on your s asterisk asterisk t and you know they just want you to be the best person you can be. Having someone to split breakfast orders with at restaurants. No more choosing between sweet and savory. You can have it all. In a good marriage, having an equal to share things with. If you have the right person even the mundane things are more fun. 
seeing your so grow as a person. On hand personal masses. Having someone there in the dark after a bad dream. Tag team embarrassing your kids. Hey, honey, let's wear our matching Disney t-shirts out to dinner tonight. Talking s asterisk asterisk t about other people together. Going to sleep every night with someone you love. Let me ask my husband and get back to you. I'm not buying it or I don't want to go. I get that the whole butterflies at the beginning is nice, but not always having to keep up the appeal is really nice. Not saying I'll let myself go, but I can be me without fear of judgment. He knows all my weird habits and I his, we don't have to hide that from each other. If I'm having an off day, instead of feeling like I look like crap, he says I'm beautiful like any other day. It's just nice that I fully satisfy him with my prescience alone and vice versa. Not having so safe fiancé anymore. It sounds pretentious. Snuggles. Words cannot do justice being able to cuddle up to my partner and knowing she'll make this rather murmur sound, even when she's dead asleep. I wouldn't give it up for the world. I hate sleeping alone now. She's ruined me. Dominating at Pictionary. I'm one scribble in, and she's like that's a squid. Make sure to like and subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.